try this Grok 4.1 fast. As you can see here, uh, they don't charge in the usage of the API and the top usage at the moment is Kilo code. So this is a good opportunity for us to try this using this prompt right here to create a profitable directory. When it's a profitable directory, you can get leads worth up to $5,000. I'm going to show you some examples. So if you take a look at this right here, you may I just expose the email, but that's fine. So it's inquiring in one of the directory that we created, how much to replace the old fence. So as we know, fencing is not cheap. So it will be at least three to $5,000, at least in the USA. And this is that directory where that person inquired. So we will try to add some other features here. We will check in which listing this person triggered sending an email. So we will do that. But for now, we're going to test Grow 4.1 because it's currently free to create an instant directory. I think this prompt right here that we always use to create the instant directory, we will see if it's going to be effective and if we are able to produce quality directory. Now to start that, just download this software which is called Local WP. It will look like this. So we will use this to be able for us to vibe code and create a WordPress site in our local computer. All right. So we can add a new site right here and then click on continue. And first, before you decide your directory, you can choose your niche by going to key fast create word. So we click this listing categories right here. And let's say, for example, you want fencing. So you'll see right here the fence contractor or fence supply store and also do plumber, which really can charge high price to their client or electrician. So lots of them where you can get quality leads and may land you to 2,500 worth of contract. So if you are not, let's say, fencer or electrician itself, you can refer that to someone in your local area and charge some commission because you actually refer that particular client. Now, in this example, I scraped some data here. Let's say we're going to try the travel agency. That's what I have so far. So let me download data right here. And let's grab this, open a blank notepad. So we can paste that right here. And what I want to do is just modify this configurations. So our directory or folder name will be about travel and see. So just add a unique folder name. Site name will just be travel agency in the US. Okay, just an example. And this is going to be the post custom OSCE. We can have it as like this. And then the categories will be based on the state. Team name, just have it anything related to travel agency. And then the model that you used. Grok 4.1 and then the pool category doesn't matter so we just have it as travel agency and then the country I think this is going to be USA so it depends which country you scrape color palette you can remove this it's optional and when you remove the color palette just remove this line here in row 26 and that's it that's all the configuration you need now the next thing that we will do we will copy this model First, create the uh, site right here, travel agency in USA. So that's the name of your directory. Click on continue. So once your site is ready, make sure you toggle this and let's see if it's going to work. Click open site. There you go. It's accessible. We go to the WP admin and yeah, we're able to access the dashboard. Now we can start prompting. So here you'll be able to access the S code directly. So just click that. And these are your WordPress files. So we're going to use the code right here. So click this. And here, make sure you change the model to Grok 4.1 fast. So this one right here, currently it's free. And let's go ahead and copy all this, paste that right there. And let's go ahead and see how it's going to appear. Uh, the final result of this directory using Grok 4.1. So after we vibe coded that, we will need to import this list things that we download earlier using KFAS scraper. So this is how it's going to look like if you download your data using KFAS scraper. And I'm going to easily show you how you can import that once our directory is complete. As you can see, it started to work. And let's give it just a few minutes to complete this. And there you go, guys. As you can see, this is the summary. So Grok 4.1 completed all the tasks. And now it's a time for us to check if it's going to work. So before that, we will need to import the listings and these are the plugins that you need to install first before you can run the directory. So first, let's go to appearance and go to teams. And as you can see, this is our new team. We can activate that. So after activating it, go to plugins and add new plugin. So we're going to search, just type in ACF and install the advanced custom fields. So once it's activated, go to ACF and then field groups. You will see this sync available. That means 
our custom fields have been successfully created using Grub 4.1. So we can abort uh, this. So the next plugin that you need to install is this one, which is available in the description below. So you can download that. But this plugin is basically to easily upload our listing. So this is a custom plugin that I also vibe coded. You can get that for free and upload that right here. So it's called XLSX to custom post importer and click on install now and activate plugin. All right, that's done. So this plugin is more effective, especially when you download your data from GFA scraper. So now you can access that by going to tools and then this one XLSX importer. And then we're going to browse the travel agency listing and click on upload in bar file. Guys, nice. before you do this, I forgot to tell you the step. Make sure you clean up the state name because some of these are just abbreviated, for example, this one MO. So just make sure you clean up the states. But for the sake of this demo, let's just assume that they're all clean up. So I'm going to upload in parse file. And here we're going to select the custom post tag, load fields. So the advanced custom fields right here in the second section, you don't have to touch these. These are mapped by default. What you just need to map is this WordPress code fields. So the content, just use attributes right here and then Featured image, just use the main image. That's all you need to touch here in the WordPress core fields. And you scroll down. This is very important step. You need to add the taxonomy. So which is very easy to do. Click on add taxonomy. So the first one is the parent category, which is the interest region right here. And then here, just select state. And then the children will be the address info city. Same thing, select state. And that's it. That's all you need. Let's click on start the import. So if it's just very few listing, it won't take long. Now once done, let's visit the site. And there you go. It looks promising. So these are all the list of states. And these are the listings. Oh, wonderful. So we created this directory for free. And let's check one of the listings right here. All right. It's displaying the data pretty nice. Right here, we have the opening covers. We have the contact info, everything. It looks great, actually. So let's access the breadcrumbs. This one is from Maryland. So these are the cities in Maryland and we can go back to home page. So this one, you just need to add a hero section image, which is very easy to do. You can generate using nano banana and you just add an icon right here. So this one are the list of states and very good. It's loading the city. So everything looks to be working and this is actually free and the output is amazing. It's really insane. Look at how it displayed. Wow. And you can also add your latest articles down here. And once you're satisfied with the directory, actually this itself, you can upload it to your server and start running. Just like how I did in the fence contractor and my other directory. And I think uh, that's about it. That's all I can share in this video. So see you in the next one.